What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes here, back with another action figure review, and this time it's going to be of one I have been waiting on since these promo images went up, and honestly it doesn't feel like it took it long for this figure to come out, like they already had this in production. We're going to be taking a look at the amazing Yamaguchi powered by Revel Tech, My Hero Academia, Bakugo Katsuki, or Katsuki Bakugo, whichever you know him as, but honestly, we all know him as Lord Explosion Murder, and man, am I excited, but first off, let's go ahead and take a look at that sexy packaging so we can dive right into the figure itself. Now, Revel Tech never fails when it comes to putting out sexy packaging, and I always love what they have going on with their packaging. It just, it looks so sick to me, all the colors and things and how they contrast each other, but it does say Figure Complex Amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revel Tech right there. We do have an image of Bakugo standing tall with that cocky grin. We do have him right here in the window looking super dope. It says My Hero Academia right there. At the top, we do have that smug look of his. Figure Complex Amazing Yamaguchi, Bakugo My Hero Academia. On the bottom, this is actually the design that he drew for his costume in Season 1 when they were getting ready to make it. And I love how they put that art there. It's just so dope that they added that in. Here's some legal stuff that I can't read. Here's him once again with his cocky, smug look like he's just ready to tell someone off, which he's doing probably 90% of the show. Uh, here he is getting ready to charge in with that temper of his. It says My Hero at the top. At the bottom, Bakugo. Gokatsuki. On the back, you've got a whole lot of poses you can get this figure into. Uh, I love that. That looks so dope. And also, you have Deku right here using the grenade. Um, you guys don't remember that did happen in the series. Go check the series out if you haven't. I'm sure you guys have. But anyway, uh, some of the accessories right there as well and more legal stuff that I can't read. So let's go ahead and bust this guy open because I know you guys are just as excited as I am. Pulling this figure right out of the package, I'm going to go ahead and cut right to the chase in terms of speaking on it. This thing looks amazing. <laughs> it's powered by Amazing Yamaguchi, but this thing looks outstanding. This is just dope. Like, this is exactly what I wanted in a Bakugo figure. And... If you guys saw my Figma Bakugo review, then you guys know I was not feeling that figure. The difference between this one and that one is night and day. It's it's completely different. And this, this was just done so well. And I love seeing the progression of Revel Tech because I think they're finally getting to the point to where they're starting to make figures with a ton of articulation, but they look more aesthetically pleasing because honestly looking at this guy even standing here in a vanilla pose if you would have showed this to me five years ago i never would have guessed that this was a revel tech figure i wouldn't have been able to guess it <laughs> i would have known it wasn't a figma i probably would have thought it was an sh figure arts or something but oh my goodness this thing looks dope like the hair sculpt looks so well it just Everything about this looks good. The face, it has that cocky grin. You can see the red eyes in there. Oh, let me move my light a little bit so you guys can get a better look at the face. But um, just look at that. That screams Bakugo ready to go to battle. You do have these things on the, the back of his hair. Um, I don't know what these are. I know that there's something that he designed for his costume. One thing about these on the Figma that I hated was that they felt so fragile. Uh, it felt like if I dropped this Figma, or if I dropped the Figma, it was going to shatter. But these are a whole lot thicker than the ones on the Figma, and I don't feel like they'll break. Like, I'm here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This is, as you guys can see, it's just so thin on the Figma, and I'll show more of him later. But on this one, the plastic is a little bit thicker, so I don't feel like if I drop this, it's going to break. But um, also, down to the collar, like... This thing around his neck, I don't know what that is. His neck is also really long, but it doesn't bother me because you're going to be able to move it and get a whole lot of range out of him. But the texturing, in, or the sculpt work rather, I said texturing, the sculpt work done on this figure for like the muscles and everything. If you know My Hero Academia, then you know the characters are actually pretty freaking swole. Even though they're teenagers, like these guys go through some really rigorous training and so... They get ridiculously muscular, and so I love how you can see all of that through the clothing. You've got the sculpted shoulder detail. Um, the grenades look good. 
Uh, the hands look good. All these wrinkles in his clothing. Everything looks good from the paint, the sculpt, the detail. I love it all, man. They they did a great job with this. This is outstanding. Man, I've got to give it to Revel Tech for this. This all the way down to the feet, as you guys can see. Just look at that. This looks so, so good. Not a whole lot of shading, but with all the details that are added to this figure, honestly, I don't feel like it's needed. There's a little bit in the hair, but everything else is fine. It just, it looks really, really good. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this guy back and see how tall he stands. Therefore, we can go ahead and get into that articulation. Now, as far as the height on this guy, to the top of his head, he's a little bit under six inches, a little over five and a half. So pretty tall, actually, which I think is going to be fine for the most part. He's going to fit in scale with a few of your Figma My Hero Academia figures. Not all of them, of course, but I will be showing some size comparisons later just to give you guys an idea of how he scales. Moving on to articulation. He looks up about that much, and it kind of looks like he has a bullet neck, but he can definitely get into flying poses, no problem at all. He looks down that much, a whole lot actually, and as you guys can see, he gets a ton of tilt as well. So it goes to show that even though he has a long neck, it works for what you need it to do. And also, this thing right here that's like attached to around his neck, I don't know what this is, but it actually moves. This is a uh, floating piece or, well, it's articulated. I'm not going to say it's a floating piece, but um, yeah, you can move that around. So if you're getting him into different poses where he's looking at different angles, you can move that if you feel like it's necessary. You can also move these up, down, left, right, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty dope as well. The fact that these are articulated, once again, a much better plastic than on the Figma. As far as the arms go, they can go up and out about that much. This is my only dislike. If Revel Tech can get better at fixing this area right here, I will enjoy their figure so much more. But the thing is, and that popped off because I pulled on it pretty hard. That was my fault. <clears throat> but the thing is, with that, you can really get his arms to come out. And so that's going to work very well when you take these off, the grenades, and then you put just the regular gauntlets on. If you want to get him in some cross arm poses or whatever, you can totally do that. And as far as bending his elbow, it goes about that much. Also, you can swivel this, but I'm pretty sure you can tell. As far as the hands go, you don't get a whole lot of movement with the grenades on, but that is to be expected. You can move them as much as you need to for him to be doing the attacks that he does. Now, he leans forward about that much, a very big amount, actually. That thing popped off. I probably didn't put it on right, but I'll leave it off. He crunches forward about that much, leans back, actually, more than I thought. Wow. That is super dope. So he can lean back and look up pretty far. Of course, you get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a swivel in there. Not a whole lot, but you can turn him at the waist. Uh, be careful. I feel like this will cause a little bit of paint rub, but yeah, you can definitely turn him at the waist. No problem at all. As far as the legs, he can kick forward all the way. So if you want to do Bakugo kicking somebody in the face, he can totally do it. Uh, if you want to do him kicking back, it doesn't do that so much. Uh, now, as far as kicking out, no problem whatsoever. That's, that's dope. Now, the swivel at the thigh is actually right here. Um, if you look, you can actually see it turning and you see the split right there between the uh, connected piece to his pants. So yeah, that's where that is. As far as the knees go, bends back, no problem at all. So wow, I, I, I like the knees on these. They actually work very well. So I'm not going to complain about the fact that it does look a little weird at certain angles, but still it works. As far as the foot movement goes down about that much, he could totally kick his foot out up that much of course you get ankle rocker no problem and then you also get a toe hinge so articulation on this guy it's, it's amazing <laughs> of course it's amazing yamaguchi and the one thing i forgot to mention is that you do get swivel right here at the lower arm and that's just for these gauntlets because you can take them off so yeah forgot to mention that but that's in there also now for the accessories, first off, he comes with the smug look right out of the package, that feeling cocky Bakugo look. He comes with a pair of fist hands. He comes with a pair of open palm hands. These can be from when he's using his explosions. As you guys can see, there's uh, little holes in there for you to peg something in. 
He also comes with a pair of reachy, grabby type hands if that's what you want to use them for or just stylish poses, whatever. Once again, you can see the holes in the hands and then he comes with a pair of thumbs up hands also. So this can be for when he's pointing to himself, showing his cocky side, whatever you want to use it for. He comes with an alternate hair piece. This is for you to put on and add extra faces, which I will show now. These two right here, and this is for when he is not wearing the mask. You do have that angry Bakugo look right there, which I love. And then you do have, once again, another just cocky look. And you can tell he's looking down on someone just by the way his eyes are positioned. Now, as far as the other face, you do get one more. This is him where he's really, really mad, getting ready to blow something up. And uh, you can also change the eyes on these. You can't change the eyes on these uh, the faces without the mask, but you can change them on the other. So you can also change the eyes on this one, which I'll show the extra eyes in a sec. You get a pair of Basically, uh, his lower arms without the gauntlets on, without the grenades, and so you can just pop the hands on here. And these look really dope. I really love how that black and silver just complement each other. These colors are great. And it's something very simple. Now, you also do get an alternate pair of uh, these things. I don't know what these are for. I don't think they're any different. Um, I know they're the same size, but I don't know. I don't really see anything different about them but you do get another pair so if you happen to lose one or break one or if you do a review and you didn't even realize this piece was on the floor earlier after you dropped it um if you lose it you got another one now you have this right here this can be like a little detonator i forget the name of the technique that this was when he pulled on this and did some kind of massive explosion but it's pretty dope and it's cool that they added this in something so small they could have easily left out and no one would have thought about but um as far as explosions go you do get like these swipe explosion effects which these look really good i love how these look actually um and then you can just peg them into whatever and plug them on to him as always with rebel tech with the crazy joints uh you do get this piece right here which is another explosive attack that he used where he limits the blast range but he shoots it further i forget what it's called but i remember he was using this technique it's one that he was focusing on while they were doing training and it was it was a pretty dope technique i thought he literally blew a hole in a mountain and it was dope but lastly you get the best effects which is these. These are super dope. I love these. These are for when he's going maximum Bakugo, really ready to blow something up. And you can actually separate these as well. And you can use them for like two different pieces. So if you want him just holding a small effect uh, that is an explosive, you have this one. Or if you want to use just like a big one, then you have this one. So I really love how they gave you so many options when it comes to this guy. This is just... This is dope, and once again, this is just night and day compared to the Figma. And since I spoke on the Figma, here the two of them are side by side, and you guys can spot the differences right away. I'm sure I don't have to say it, but once again, you got all the muscle definition in this figure. Not really much going on here. You've got more of that Bakugo look in the face on this one, and I'm going to bring these closer so you guys can see. Just look at the difference. Like... You got the muscle that is sculpted in on this one. The Figma just looks so plain. Uh, the wrinkles in the clothing are on both, but it's much better done on the Revel Tech. Honestly, everything on the Revel Tech is much better than the Figma. They just knocked it out of the park. They made this look much more like Bakugo. And on top of that, they made it so much more of a likable figure. And the crazy part is that the Figma actually costs more. Now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the Revel Tech Deku, and as you guys can see, these two look really great together. Here he is standing next to the Figma Bakugo, which this figure is going back in the box at this point, and then the Figma My Hero Academia Shoto, which is entirely too small, so I'm hoping that Revel Tech will also make a Todoroki, because this one will also go back in the box. Next up here he is standing next to the first release Figma Deku, which I feel like these two don't scale too badly. They look all right next to one another, but one that I really like standing next to Bakugo is Kirishima. I feel like these scale almost perfectly. Maybe Kirishima should be a little bit taller, but this is his season one costume. So maybe if we get a season two costume from Revel Tech, that would be 
absolutely fire by the way uh maybe they'll make him a little bit taller but once again this is the figma and i feel like this scales well and then we do have figma ochiko also and i think she's fine she's supposed to be small um i feel like bakugo is a little bit bigger than her and so this is fine Lastly, here he is standing next to the Revel Tech My Hero Academia All Might. And in case you want to get your mix up on, here he is standing next to the McFarlane Toys My Hero Academia Shigaraki and the McFarlane Toys Aizawa. Now, I feel like he should be a little bit taller in comparison to Shigaraki, but I think Aizawa was just about perfect because Aizawa was pretty tall. Now, once again, this is another one of those figures where I feel like my final thoughts on it doesn't really matter because... At the end of the day, it's the best Bakugo figure that we're probably going to get for a while. I don't see Figma revisiting this character. Obviously, SH Figure Arts probably isn't going to go down the My Hero Academia route. And even if they did, I don't think that it would offer nearly as much as this one. Maybe there will be some other companies to attack My Hero Academia in the future. But right now, this is as good as it's going to get. But also, I do want to say that there are some problems with this figure. Um, this neck piece right here falls off way, way, way too easy. Um, I found myself posing it and it would just fall to the floor, even if I wasn't even touching the neck of the figure. Also, the grenades do fall off a little easily as well. That's one of the same problems that I had with my Figma. Maybe a lot of people didn't have that one, but the, the grenade gauntlet would fall off constantly while I was posing around my Figma version. And uh, those are two problems that I have with this guy. Now, obviously, they're not breaking. They are just falling off. Uh, it can get a bit annoying. But that's the only issue I have with it. Now, anyone else might not like the neck. The neck doesn't bother me. Yes, it's ridiculously long, but look at all the poses you can get the figure into by moving that neck around. And honestly, with the way that my hero's drawn sometimes, Bakugo's neck has looked pretty long in certain scenes. I've seen it, especially season one. So um, that's not really a bother to me. But other than that, I have to say this figure is act absolutely superior to the figma by a ridiculous level it's just i've already said the difference it's just completely different and so much better guys get your hands on this figure if you love posing your figures around if you love the character of bakugo if you love my hero academia there's no reason not to add this to your collection once again it is cheaper than the uh figma and i believe this one i paid about 60 bucks for um so get your hands on it you don't want to miss out on this guy there was so many people who missed out on deku because they didn't pre-order like i told them to do you don't want that same issue with this figure because i saw how many people were excited when this was announced this is one that is going to sell out and everything with revel tech is not guaranteed a reissue so if you pass on it and then you want it in the future you played yourself so get your hands on this guy that's all i have to say about it i do hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and stay safe wherever you are bye and real quick because i realized this as i was wrapping up the review um i actually forgot to show you guys all the different sets of eyes that he comes with and so as you guys can see you can get him pretty much looking in any direction with the mask face i completely forgot to show this off also the tool that is used to pop out the eyes and then this piece right here which is actually for something else i forgot to show you do also get two boom effects with him you do have one that is horizontal and then you you have one that's vertical so yeah you got something like these with all might you got something like these with deku and so they also threw in some with bakugo so yeah sorry guys i forgot to show that off i was just rushing to get this review out before i have to head to work so anyway peace